Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Uh, my name is Alderman Lodge Jack Connolly. I'm a vice president of the Snowball Board of Aldermen and a uh, longtime friend of the Crummins family, another ball square boy, and uh, just a longtime uh, friend. And with me this afternoon at this special occasion is Tommy's brother Joe, who's now going to introduce members of his family who are with us. And also here this afternoon is my colleague from the Board of Aldermen, Mary Jo Rossetti, an Alderman at Large, and the best mayor the city ever had, uh, Mayor Emeritus Gene Bruin, is also here. So at this time, uh, Mr. Joe Cremens, if you'd be kind enough to introduce the members of the family, we have a, a couple of uh, special gifts for uh, your sisters and uh, your nieces who are here. Thank you, Jack. On behalf of the Kremens family, we'd like to thank everyone for coming out here this night. It's cold out. We love you all and can't thank you enough. I have uh, my sister Ellen, Kathy, and Mary, my brother's wife, Kathy, Jillian, and Abigail. Will Jillian and Abigail come, come up here, please? Okay. So just a special thanks to everybody that participated in this. Jim Halloran, my brother's best friend. And this guy here. And Joe Curtitoni's not here. A special thanks to Joe Curtitoni, Billy Toro. We want to thank Billy. Billy's done a lot. Kenny Lakin, my brother's foundation. And uh, with no further ado, Kenny Lakin wants to say a few words. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, and, and on behalf of the foundation, we wanted to thank everybody for their participation, not only in this event, in the city of Somerville, for this beautiful bench we're going to be able to reveal shortly, but we also want to thank. Some of the people that participated in the prior events that we've had, Lenny Clark, Wayne Soares, and other people that contributed to uh, Steve Sweeney and others, yeah. contributed to Tommy's family and his beautiful two girls. Um, it's a, on behalf of the foundation, it's a heartfelt thank you to all of you, for what you've all done for family members and friends, city officials, etc. cetera. Um, we really appreciate it very much, and I know Kathy and the girls do as well. And God bless you all, thank you all. I forgot Arthur Wahlberg from the Wahlberg family, Jim Henry from Senator Sal D. Domenico's office, and I have a gentleman that flew in from the Special Forces, Tony O'Regan, right here. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they also, we, uh, we would not be uh, giving them proper due if we didn't mention uh, Chris Santini and the iron workers of Local 7 who donated their time and energy for this wonderful wonderful bench that uh, you're going to see very shortly. Um, at this time, uh, I'm very pleased to introduce somebody who really doesn't need an introduction because uh, he's an individual who got the city out of a real deep hole at one time, was an alderman in Ward 6 and knew the Cummins family forever. Uh, I'm very pleased and it's an honor to introduce a longtime friend of all of us here in the city of Somerville, the Honorable Eugene Bloom. right there. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be here and I'm honored that you will ask me to speak. And the Wahlbergs, I watch them on television all the time. This is the closest I ever got to one. <laughs> so I'm going to take, I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm going to be on there too. <laughs> there we sure. are. Good. In any case, sure. it's true. I've known the Crimmins family for a good many years. You know, having been born in some of them, and living here all my life and spending 42 years in politics, you get to know an awful lot of people. Some of them you're okay and some of them you love. And the Crimmins family is a family that I've enjoyed from the very beginning. Uh, I knew Kathleen and Joe. Uh, they talked about Tommy, the great years, the 70s when he was bad boy, 75 uh, championship for the Red Sox, and all of those things that are good memories that you'll always get to cherish as long as you are around. Uh, but the Crimmins family has done so much for some of them, and they touched us in so many ways, and I want you to know that. And I'm very pleased to be here today to, to say that how pleased we were to have this happen in Somerville at Dilboy Field. Dilboy Field, so many memories of all of us who lived here all our life with Dilboy, and we all have Dilboy Field has touched all of us in some way. Not the new one, but the old one that we all cherish. But I'm very pleased to be here today, and I'm very happy for the, for the children, for the good memories that, that they will have about their father, uh, their wife, their, his mother and father who have passed away, but are with us here today. 
And I think that as far as Tommy's concerned, he has touched all of us. But he's going to touch us all for a very long time every time we walk through this entrance and we see this bench. So I'm very pleased to be here today to be a part of this ceremony. Uh, and I'm happy that you're all here to cherish it with us. Thank you very much. I'd like to say to Kathy, uh, Jillian, and Abby that uh, the city of Somerville was a very special place for all of us, and it's an even better one because you knew your dad, and Kathy obviously you knew your husband. I know this town of Ruben has been very good to you because that's your home, but we wanted to make sure by our uh, meeting here this afternoon and the dedication of this bench that the city of Somerville is going to stay long in your hearts and that we'll always be in a position to help you and your family as time goes on. My colleague, Mary Jo Rossetti, his honor the mayor, my colleagues in the Fort of Alderman, uh, take our dedication <laughs> very seriously. Tommy is a captain of the high school football team back in 1977, and then a captain of the lacrosse team at UMass. Was a fierce competitor, but a guy that you wanted to have with you no matter what the situation was. He was somebody that enjoyed life and enjoyed his competitions no matter what it was. So we want to say on behalf of the city, a special thank you for having Tommy in our lives. And we'd like you to come on over now and help with the dedication by taking off the fuel shroud and the mailing to the world. Special thanks to the Wright family and local seven. All right. Don't get them with this. Give me that. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank you. My pleasure. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Mary Joe, my sister.